You're going to need some patterned paper. You're going to need some neutrals. I've chosen some vellum, some craft, and some white regular printer paper. Optional, you may want some cut aparts, some tags and tickets that can be cut apart in various colors. You're going to want some hardware. I've chosen some wood veneer pieces, some buttons, some bling, and sequins. Some die cuts of your choice. Just pull out all the ones that you think you might like to use. I've got some recycled packaging, um, a handmade watercolored flower, um, some globes, a big uh, chipboard piece, which might be my focal point, and then some other little doodads. Also optional are some die cuts. If you have a die cut machine, you might want to go ahead and die cut some of your favorite dies. I've chosen some really intricate ones and then some buttons. Uh, last but not least, you're going to want some soft items to add to your card because after adding all of the hardware, you're going to want something to soften up the look. I've just chosen some regular white sewing thread and some scrap lace. Alright, first things first is you're going to lay your card base down and you're going to choose one of uh, your patterns to go down as your um, background. Uh, sometimes I like to choose the darkest pattern or the busiest pattern and so for my group I'm going to use this polka dot pattern which is from the flea market collection by Maggie Holmes. You can use your trimmer to cut this out. I'm going to use my ruler just to do some easy ripping. And so we have our first layer. Uh, the next thing you want to do is break up this dark layer and your other pattern that you will probably put down. And I like to use copy paper. Uh, for one, it's cheap. Uh, you can still see the pattern through, which adds interest to the design. And um, sometimes I don't like to use my thick cardstock for just layers. So I'm just going to put that in the middle. You can see my edges are not straight and that's all part of the look that we want or at least that I like. Uh, the next I'm going to choose this uh, lighter pattern and I'm just going to lay this across. Um, you can use a sketch if you're not sure which way you want anything to go. Um, Pinterest has lots of sketches. Um, next I'm going to add another piece of a neutral which is craft cardstock in my case. You can use any neutrals, black, brown, grays, you know, any of those types of colors that could possibly um, match any patterns that you use. I'm going to tuck that down. Don't glue anything down yet because you might not want it there after a while. So. When you think you have, I think that's a pencil mark. When you think you have everything where you want it, you can take a stapler and staple it in place. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Just going to use one staple. That'll keep everything in place. And if we want to change this, all you have to do is turn this over, pull these prongs up, and pull out your staple. And then you can rearrange if you want. All right, so I'm going to grab some of those embellishments that we took out and we're going to arrange those on our card. All right, so I took out some of those die cuts. Uh, first, you want to figure out what. OK, so now that um, I pulled out some of those die cuts and ephemera pieces, um, we're going to figure out uh, where we want all of those pieces. Now, here you have a few options. You need a focal point. Uh, your focal point can be in the middle. It could be toward the top, um, off to the side. I think I'm going to have my focal point off this way just because I have this staple here. It'll give me a chance to cover that up. Um, I have several options. I can add this uh, big uh, camera chipboard. I've been dying to use this. Um, I could use that. Or if you like to color images, like I think we all do, um, you can have that as your focal image. Only thing about this is if you have your focal image 
cut out of its background you need to put it on a background so this is where um, your other papers could come into play okay so and this is just so she's not just in the middle she has a wall so to speak that she could stand in front of okay if, if uh, this image is not going to be your focal point um, which I think I'm going to use this as my focal point I'm going to just lay that down I'm not going to press firmly okay and then uh, because this isn't behind something I want to put something on top of this so this could most likely be anything it could be uh, one of these die cut pieces it could be this uh, floral piece that I made you just using some watercolors which I like that I wish I had made it smaller now um, oh this um, globe here would look really cute because you have the camera and the gold globe it could be a travel themed card uh, just lots of things can go here so I think I'm gonna commit to this here and again I'm not gonna glue anything down just yet okay so uh, to soften up things I like to use a piece of vellum so I'm going to just tear a slither of this excuse, excuse me for reaching Tearing makes things go a lot faster. And um, we could slide that over here under our rose just to soften it even more. Add that other piece there. Um, let's see, what else did I pull out? I pulled out this piece of uh, packaging. That could most likely go up here. Okay. And you could stop here if you want. I think a lot of us we get scared of layering too many things and we don't want it to look too crowded so we can stop here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue all this in place because I like where it is and then we're gonna go to the fun part which is adding some hardware all right guys so you remember that cut apart piece that I said was optional well I've taken apart myself uh, upon myself to cut out a little piece it says uh, Fine China. I thought that would be cute to go on our card and I've already adhered everything down in place where um, we put them before. I have this little piece of packaging peeking out at the top and I've glued my flower in place and my vellum and now we're ready to add some buttons and things. Uh, now these buttons are kind of thick so they will stand off the page quite a bit so I may not use those um, I know I want to use this heart somewhere um, might not use that either so uh, what I am going to do now is I'm going to put this at the top okay I think I'm going to cut this little shape out a little bit more And that is going to go at the top just to add some interest. Okay, and then I have this arrow here. Which will most likely be pointed down, so we might not even use that. Um, I also remember those die cuts that we cut, those really intricate ones. I cut one in half, and I thought it'd be really cute. Um... To add, let's cut a little bit of this off to add at the top here, just for some added interest. And I'm gonna staple this in place. I use staples a lot, and then I'm gonna take my hot glue and just glue it down. And then the other half you can tuck under even though it's black it still adds interest you won't really see it at first but once your recipient looks at the card because <clears throat> they're gonna want to keep looking and they see that they're gonna say oh that's pretty okay 
Um, so I'm gonna just tuck that under there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the top of um, my piece to my card base. And then I'm going to take some of these uh, sequins, or not these aren't sequins, these are um, rhinestones. And you cut these apart, I like to add them in strips. So I'm going to add a strip up here. And then of course a strip down here in the balancing corner. Okay, add some bling. And um, now you can add sequins all over if you would like. Excuse my reach. I'm working off to the side of the camera. So just stick those wherever you want. And you remember that softness that we're going to add? We're going to add that right now. I'm not going to add the thread, but I am going to add a little piece of lace. Uh, now this is uh, like a lace fabric. You can buy this, uh, get this by the yard at like Walmart or wherever fabric is sold. And I'm going to stretch it. Just kind of tear it a little bit. Okay. Rough it up a little bit. And then I'm going to probably tuck it um, back here. So let's tuck that down. I'm going to add a little glue off to the side here. I got my glue gun. So add a little hot glue down there. And squeeze that together. And because that glue is showing, I'm just going to stick this. Um, sequin right on top of that. So then we have some softness. Okay. And then you can add a little piece down here as well. Stretch it just to rough it up a little bit. I'm going to add it under this leaf right here. I'm going to take it over to the hot glue gun. So I put a little glue under that leaf and I'm just going to smush that down. Okay. And so there's our card. Um, I think it came out really, really pretty. And so, yeah, and even though there's a lot of pieces that we did not use, um, remember all these scraps, they can just be ripped up, layered again. Okay. Let's see here to make um, another card. See how quick that would come together, and we still have this little girl that wasn't used. We could add some vellum. Okay, there she is. Look, we're already done with the card just by taking all the other little pieces that we didn't use. Here's that love. Tuck that back there in this arrow. Okay, so you see how quickly these layer cards come together? Just remember a few patterns, some nice die cuts, a focal image, some different textiles, lace, um, burlap if you have burlap. Uh, printed fabric if you like to use fabric on your cards. A piece of vellum. Vellum adds layer without competing with anything. Uh, it's not a color. It's translucent. You can see straight through it. And it gives us something else layered on top without competing with, say, this color or that color or the bright pink flower. And so that's the card. I hope this was helpful to everyone that likes to layer your cards but you're having trouble. Go ahead. Get your supplies out. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. 
and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!